Hello, in this video, I will teach you how you can design this uh, squeeze or opt-in page so you can grow your email list and get more subscribers. You can drive traffic to this uh, landing page or opt-in page through Facebook ads, Google ads, or even uh, SEO or search engine optimization. So once someone um, um, land on this page and they are convinced of your copy and they like to download the, the ebook, they have to complete or add their own email address. Let's add this address for example. And once they click the button, they will be directed into a thank you page or a redirect page where you thank them for, your, for joining your email list or even you can upsell them and offer them something for like an upsell or a one-time offer for maybe seven dollars or something all the tools i will be using will be the free tools you don't have to pay any charges for any tool that i will be using in this video now let's get started the first step will be that you need to install two free plugins as i mentioned you don't have to pay any charges to use them for to design this landing page so all you have to do is go to plugins and click and add new and the first plugin we'll need to use is called Fluent Forms. We just need to click uh, to search for this. And this is the plugin that we are looking for. Once you find it, you click Install now and you click Activate it and it will be activated. The second plugin is called Cadence Blocks plugin. This plugin, I, will, I always use it to design my uh, website uh, pages, either they are opt-in pages or even sales pages or landing pages. So this is the plugin we are looking for. Again, you just click install now and you get it activated. But because I have already installed it before, um, I don't have to activate it again. So now the second step or the third step will be to create a new page. Let's create a new page. You go to by going to pages and clicking add new. Let's say this is the landing opt-in page for Facebook ads. And now we need to add our own content. To add the content, we'll be using the Cadence Blocks um, um, plugin to add it. To, you know, to add this like um, uh, double row, um, let's, let me open the page again. To have this design when you have two columns, you will have to use what's called the row layout. To use the row, you click in this plus button here and you search for a row, a row layout. And this is the one we're looking for. You click on it and you choose a two column layout. That's it. That's it. Okay, now we have two columns. Um, layout, we need to add our image in the left and the content to the right. To add the image, you simply click in this add block button and search for image block and this is the block we're looking for you click an image and you either upload it upload a new image through your um, um, computer or if you have already uploaded that before to your uh, to your media library you can just click in media library and choose the image i have chosen or design this um, uh, page by the way you can easily uh, design these uh, um, ebook cover pages by going to canva it's an amazing platform and it's also free of a charge so now we have our own image let's just you know like minimize the size and make it in the center and that's it now if you remember we need to add our own title let's copy the title this from this page to add the heading we need to click again in the plus button and look for heading or advance it text by the cadence blocks uh, um, plugin of course you can use the heading um, block by wordpress itself but i usually use the advanced text block by cadence blocks you click in here you add your own uh, title let me just cover and paste the title here okay and now we have just added this let's just remove the list okay now we need to add this list icon. It's an easy job to add it. You just let's, let me copy the first item here. And again, we click in the plus button and look for what's called an icon list. This is the list. And now you just need to add them. This is the first one. Let me copy the other one very quickly. And here the other one. And now the third 
let me copy the third the third item um, that's it okay now we have the headline the image and the icon list maybe you have seen that how we can style the the color and correct the position of the icon list you can do this by simply going make sure that you are under the icon list you have chosen the complete icon list by going maybe choose it from here and the icon list color you can just change it from here to make it you know to the top maybe we go to general and icon align you just click um, click in the uh, uh, top icon and we click publish now let's view the page and see how it is looking now this is the page okay uh, we need to remove the header and footer and the title this can be easily done using the cadence uh, theme because i'm using the cadence theme for this tutorial if you are using astra or generate press or even ocean wb most probably you will have a similar option to remove the uh, headline i just go to the cadence uh, or the page settings and i disable the page title and i disable the header and footer and click on update now let's view the page again okay now we have removed the header and footer and uh, maybe we need to you know to increase the um, the padding with the space between the items you can easily do this by going again to the icon list and under the settings you go to the vertical uh, spacing maybe you can make this like 10 or even 15 okay so now the spacing between the list uh, items are um, much better now the second step or the last step we need to do is to add the form for this landing page because if you go here we have a form where if someone wants to um, receive the ebook they have to like add their own email to do this we will be using the uh, fluent form plugin that we have already installed and activated now let's go back to the um, dashboard of WordPress and go to Fluent Forms and click in a new form so we can add a new form. You can you can use one of these forms, but I'm, I like to um, um, uh, teach you how you can use or create one from scratch. We just click in Create Form, and now it's a matter of drag and, drag and drop. So what we need is the email address. We just click in the email address here, okay? And we say add your email. Address. Now you have the option to use this um, a button, but usually it's you don't have full control to change the styling and you know, make it look more beautiful so um the, um use the colors of your uh, own branding so it is better that you go to the input fields again and you look for the custom custom yes custom submit button and you just take it and add it here it has been replaced now we need to change the color we can change the color from here we just click here and now we have the red color and we need to change this text yes sin me the ebook now and we click in save for after you add this form you there is one last step that you need to do before we leave fluent form altogether that is to add a setting where uh, if so, once someone completes the form and add their email address they will be directed to another page i have already uh, created a page by just going to pages all pages add new and created a page and i just need to add it to the form to do oh, to add the redirect or the thank you page to the form you click in the settings and integrations and you go to the form settings and enter uh, and here this is the confirmation type do you like to show a message or to redirect to a custom url outside of your own website or to a page inside your own website i will choose to a page and i will look for redirect page this is the page i have created and we click in save settings now we are done with our fluent form settings how we can use or how we can embed this form to the page you have been designing so it can show the 
form itself. What we can do is that we can just go to edit page again. We go to the page. Maybe this is, sorry, this is. We just click in edit page and let's open it in a new tab. And under the last, maybe the last um, list item, you just click in, in these three dots and you, uh, no, sorry, not the three dots. Make sure that you are in the icon list. And in the three dots, you click in insert after. So you can add an item after the, um, the icon list. And you again, you click in the um, add block and you look for fluent forms. This is a widget or a block. Once you add it, once you add it, you can choose to show which form you need to add. This is the blank form. The name of the form was blank form. We just add it here and then click update. And let's view the page in incognito mode. This is the page. We have just design. Of course, you can just, you know, play with it to make this. Maybe you need to make this um, space a little bit smaller. You can do this. Let's uh, test it out. And I have just I will just add this email and I click yes, send me the ebook now. And let's see. Great. Now the redirect has been done. One last thing I like to do is that I need to show you how you can change the form of block, the form itself, the form name, so you don't get confused. It is very easy to change the form name. You just go to the dashboard again, and inside uh, the form itself, you just click in this. Let's go to all forms. And this is the form you have been trying to, uh, we have designed. You click in edit, you click edit, and this is where you can choose it. Maybe you, let's choose it. Let's, let's change the name into an ebook. Book form. And now the name has changed. If we go to this again and we make a refresh, as you can see, as you can see, the form block. Uh, the form um, name is now as an ebook form. So this is how easily you can, you know, design such a small or a squeeze page or an opt-in page or a landing page to generate more leads for your business and to grow your own email list. So hopefully you find um, you found this um, video very helpful. If you liked it, please sub don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up so more people can watch this video and take the same benefit. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.